It is time to simp. Lee, open up this box and take a look inside. Yes, today, as you can tell from the title of this video, we are taking a look at the 2022 Mori Calliope Birthday Commemorative Set, which I think is the official title. If not, it'll be in the description, uh, as I've mentioned. So yeah, inside this massive box is a bunch of stuff to commemorate uh, the 2022 birthday of everyone's favourite Grim Reaper's Apprentice. Uh, so, I, I know what's inside, but I don't remember exactly what, so we'll, we'll go on a journey together. I'm very excited. So, I'm going to go slice open the top here, and then we'll take a look inside. Alright, I uh, just about got it open. So, because of the size of this box, once I take an item out, we'll take a more in-depth look, because uh, this camera angle is almost impossible. I am literally having to, like, bend over... Uh, the camera tripod. All right, everything is well wrapped. So we got some paper, some Japanese paper. Let's fucking go! Uh, right, I think I've done that joke far too many times already. R.I.P. Headphone users. All right, well. Oh god, wow, everything's really bubble wrapped. Okay, I may have to take that out. Brb. All right, so the the package has downsized slightly, so we can finally kind of take more of a look at it. So I'm going to put my hand in, uh, I think, so I know what all of these are. Um, right, I'm going to have to slice this open, BRB. All right, I've cleared everything from below as well, because we might as well take a look together. So it is a poster, but a poster of what? Like, oh wow, this is really high quality actually. Uh, so it's been a while, it's been a while since I've bought a poster actually, but the front feels very glossy. Now, I realise I don't have a great angle here, so I'm going to have to take a photo, I think, with my phone um, to really see it, but as we can... hang on. All right, I'm back. So I've had to weigh um, this poster down with trading cards, you can see. So the front of this is super glossy. It's, um, it feels a lot thicker than a regular poster, which is very cool, because I was expecting this to be a regular poster. But this is indeed the cover of Unalive. Uh, so as you can see in the corner there, it does say first album. Um, so this was Maury's uh, album that came out in March this year, uh, which we may see a little bit more of later. Unfortunately, I can't fit this on my table, let alone in shot. But it is a beautiful poster. Now, I think I may get this framed, actually. I feel like just hanging this on a wall is going to feel a little bit weird, just tacking it up. So I know someone who frames stuff, so I'm probably going to go ahead and do that. But already, I'm incredibly happy to have this. This is going to look sick on a wall. Uh, anyway, on to the next item. All right, up next, I'm going to grab this mysterious pack. Ooh, it's gold. Wow. Okay, right, I'm going to go uh, slice into this. All right. Wow, this uh, this box alone is incredible. So MC, as you can see, so Mori Calliope cover. Obviously, they are the group that owns Hololive. On the back is a little thing. This is a kind of a cardboard red box, but inside... Oh, yeah. Hang on. Uh, there's a bit of polystyrene. Hang on, let's get rid of that. Wow, okay, so I'm, I'm quite impressed with this. So obviously I've, I've unwrapped it and everything. So this is the one item in the package I was a bit on the fence about. Um, and uh, an imminent fact, or a fun toys. No, that's my only fans. Um, so I fucking hate wine. Um, I've, I've never tried wine that I've enjoyed before. So when I saw there was a wine glass where there was like, Oh, I, I don't particularly care. It's going to be some kind of plastic, gimmicky wine glass. Whatever, it'll be a sort of collectible thing. No, this this is a glass. Uh, wine glass. This is really nice. Um, so obviously it's got the whole kind of like red thing. It's, you know, because Mori is known for enjoying a glass of wine. Um, and yeah, so it's like, it's, it's red at the bottom there. We've got the Gold Grim Reaper insignia as well, which is phenomenal. This is like so nice. It's also a heck of a size for a wine glass, I think, maybe. Or maybe I'm just used to smaller 
like wine glasses. But this is really nice. This is genuine glass. This is like you you absolutely could use this for wine. Uh, personally, I'll probably just be displaying it in like a cabinet or something because, you know, again, I don't really drink wine and stuff. More of a whiskey person. So, um, and I, I'd hate for this to potentially chip or something, but that is nice. Also, the box, like, this, I'm genuinely a little bit blown away. As I said, I thought this was going to be a kind of, you know, decently cheaply made kind of plastic goblet. Haha, <laughs> looks like there's wine in it, but no, that's a, that's, that's a high quality wine glass. Well, I don't know if it's high quality, but it's a, it's a good quality wine glass. Uh, right, on to the next item. Before I get into the next thing as well, I just remembered, so part of this bundle, if you bought a bundle like this, the complete one, um, it did come with an mp3 download of Mori uh, giving a scythe swinging instructional, I think. I haven't listened to it yet, um, obviously it's an audio file, so it, it's not physically represented here, but that is something you also got with it. Um, obviously I'm not going to play any of it, but... If I do listen to it at some point, I'll maybe post about it on social media, if I remember. Which, let's face it, I'm not going to remember. Uh, right, so... Ooh. Uh, oh, now, I think I know what this is. I want to say this is a handwritten... Well, I say handwritten, I think it's a copy of... Um, a letter from Mori. So, right, I'm going to go open this carefully. All right, I've butchered it. Uh, that, goddamn, that is the most tightly sealed envelope I think I have ever opened. So, this is a piece of cardboard. Well, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. No, um, we do, of course, have... Ah, ah, so it's signed uh, Calliope Mori. Very cute. Uh, so that is... Ah, it's a little Grim Reaper and stuff. Uh, and on this side is a note, so I'm going to freeze it for you there, well I'm going to hold it there if you do want to pause and read it, I'm not going to read it out on camera, but this is, I'm pretty sure, an exclusive bonus for people who bought the entire package. Um, so I think this, this only came if you bought everything, basically. Uh, but that is very cute. Right, I'm going to go put this back in the envelope. Alright, on to the next. Thing. Now, as I was saying, I think there's two things left. So, oh, good lord, wait, what? What? Hang on. What? Okay, uh, I'll move that, Biabi. Some might call it drip, others might call it Higoli Talin Sangdan. I call it a, a jumper with a skull on it. So, this. God damn, um, it, it's hard to describe. So this is the kind of jumper that came with it, or like sweatshirt. I don't know exactly what it's called, because I, I, when I saw it, I thought it was a hoodie, but it's not. It's like a, it's a, quite a thick jumper, basically. Now, obviously, it's got the Deadbeat logo on, which I love. Uh, once I saw this, this and the next item is what absolutely, like, I, I, you know, was fully on board with buying the whole package. This looks incredible. Um, obviously, I'm going to try it on in a second. So, the material is, like, really high quality. It's, like, really thick as well. This feels like an autumn slash winter kind of jumper thing. Uh, it's also got a kind of turtleneck thing going on up here, which... I didn't expect. And obviously the print is like superb. Uh, it, it feels quite nice as well. I don't think this is going to wear off anytime soon. I really like the design because it it's not subtle necessarily, but sort of it, this could be a number of things to people who don't know, but people who do know it, it's a nice nod or whatever. This, yeah, this is really nice. So I ordered extra large. Now, the thing is, thinking of it, I don't know if this is going to be Asian Extra Large or American Extra Large. If it's Asian Extra Large, it's going to fit me quite snugly, because I'm kind of a medium. If it's American Extra Large, I'm going to be able to fit into this about five times. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try it on now. Um, here's a picture of me wearing it. All right, I'm back. Uh, good lord, I am terrible at selfies. Um, I'm really sorry. It was a bad angle. I, I don't know how to take photos of myself. 
Um, also, just to point out, uh, at the back it does have the Mori Calliope like logo, um, kind of not embossed, but you know what I mean, uh, on it as well. Okay, I've got to say, this is probably one of my favourite jumpers. Um, so it's really thick, uh, it, it's, it's genuinely quite heavy, like, I think if you wore this in the summer you'd probably swelter. Um, however, this is literally the perfect time of year to wear this. It's like, it, yeah, it's quite thick. Um, so it turns out it is massive. I think I ordered an American XL. This is like one of the comfiest jumpers I've worn, actually, though. I, I really like baggy clothes. And I think it kind of fits, you know, the, the theme of, I mean, Maury likes her kind of baggy kind of streetwear stuff. And yeah, I, I think it just works as a baggy kind of clothes. But yeah, the I this is the first jumper I've ever owned with a turtleneck. Um, so in the second picture that I put up, uh, unless I'm putting it up right now, like that is really long unless you fold it in half, which obviously is the idea. I didn't realize that though. Um, this is really nice. Like of all all the products so far have been above what I expected quality-wise. Um, this this is great. Cool, sorry, I'm, I'm going to keep gushing about a jumper now. Let's jump on to the last item. All right, I've gone ahead and actually cut this open. I don't want to do yet more jump cuts. There's already about 25 in this video. Also, a shout out to Tom and Tim. Thank you very much for watching this video. I know you're going to be watching it with me because I've already told you about it. So, uh, you can probably guess what's inside this with the packaging. God lord, there's more packaging. Okay, uh, let me toss this to one side there. All right, I actually took out my HDMI cable, which is connected to my screen, so that was cool. Uh, anyway, you can probably tell what this is. That is right. It is a vinyl copy of Unalive, which is Maury's uh, first album. As I mentioned, uh, this is also the, the kind of poster. Obviously, the poster is the entire artwork. You know, this is a um, gatefold thing. So I'm also very glad it comes in a plastic sleeve, but it, it didn't come shrink-wrapped because I was like, oh, do I want to open it if it happens to be shrink-wrapped? But no, this is just a perfect cover. So we'll take a look. The front cover I love. Um, this is the other item, obviously, as I mentioned, that absolutely cinched, cinched the deal for me. Um, I am quite a big fan of the Unalive album, so we're going to take a look. Uh, I don't think the spine shows anything. Uh, the back there is, hang on, I believe it's an extension of the, yeah, there you go. Okay, cool. So I'm barely getting this in on uh, screen, but it is, oh, it's some incredible artwork. And of course, inside, we've got some more art. And then we have the tracks. So I'm actually uh, going to give a very quick review for this album at the end, so stick around for that, unless you don't want to, in which case, uh, you know, I'll, I'll give you the option at the end, so don't worry. So that's the track list. Um, trying to open this very carefully. That is some more artwork. Uh, I'm going to have an in-depth look off camera in a second, just in case I'm like missing any references or whatever. But, so that's the middle there. That is the right side. Ah, okay. And I believe within here, yes, is the album itself. So that's, I imagine, side A. And then, oh, nice. Okay, it's it's got like a, um, you know, it, it's got different stickers as well for each side. That is uh, very nice. It's, uh, and it is Maury Calliope's first album. I don't think there's any liner notes, or maybe there are. Again, I'll have a look at that off screen in a second. But very nice. Now, sadly, I genuinely don't have a way to play this right now. Uh, I used to have a record player years ago, but then I moved. And now I don't. So, uh, I'm either going to have to be like one of those pretentious people with a vinyl, or I'm going to have to buy a record player. Uh, right, I'm going to go off and have a quick look at all this art and stuff, just so I can see it in detail, because looking at a screen, it, you know, it isn't the same. BRB. All right, I'm back. So I've had a look at uh, the various bits of art. There's nothing I've really picked up on this, like any subtle references. I really do like the middle there, uh, both her outfits. Or, oh, well, two versions of her outfits. I don't know if it's a reference to a particular song or anything, but, you know. Anyway, I'm going to give a very quick uh, review to all these tracks. 
uh, just to kind of give thoughts, not that anyone asked, but hey, why not? And then we'll get to the conclusion. So, um, first track is Unalive, which obviously is the title track. It's quite, it's quite good. It's very different to her usual stuff because it's more kind of an idly kind of pop song than anything else. Um, it's not my favourite from the album, but I, I quite enjoyed uh, Unalive. Resting Power is pretty decent as well. It sort of, I, I'd say it's not really any of my favourite tracks, but again, much like Unalive, this is a bit more like her usual stuff. I quite like Resting Power, um, but you know, it's not it's not something I'd listen to on its own necessarily. Uh, unlike the next track, which is Q, featuring Gao Gura, um, absolutely love Q. Uh, it's one of my favourite tracks. Obviously, it released, it's got its own music video as well, which is incredible. If, um, if you haven't seen it, absolutely watch Q. Uh, Gura's, you know, vocals as well are fantastic as well. There's a nice uh, juxtaposition between the two. And yeah, Q is a banger. Scuffed Up Age is pretty good as well. It's more kind of, um, it, it's a little bit slower. It's more kind of, um, not lo-fi hip hop, but you get what I mean. Um, it is quite nice. It's more of a chill track. Um, the good and bad thing, I guess, of Unalive is that there's some hype tracks, really fast tracks, and there's some like low, you know, lower tempo kind of chill things, which I do quite enjoy. Uh, Dead on Arrival, I really enjoy. That is a hell of a track. I've listened to that one quite a bit. Um, Ouroboros um, is, again, kind of more of a chill thing. Wait, is it? I think... Oh, do you know, it's been it's been about a week or two. Um, yeah, no, I, I, Ouroboros I quite enjoyed, though. I remember enjoying it. I definitely hearted it, I think, on Spotify. Uh, next, tra uh, next up is my favourite track of the album, and arguably, I think, probably in my top, like, three Mori tracks ever, which is Graveyard Shift featuring Boogie Vox. This is an absolute banger from start to finish. So if you've never listened to Boogie Vox, they're really good as well. They're a sort of hip-hop duo, much in the sort of vein as Mori. Um, there's the, the female vocalist has an incredible range, and the dude uh, that usually sort of like raps and stuff has an incredible speed to all of his flows and stuff. And th this just typifies, this is like the height of Boogie Vox and Mori working together. Graveyard Shift is like, it's so good. Um, it's probably going to end up in my like Spotify wrapped thing at the end of the year. I've listened to this track more than most of the songs uh, combined, really. So we've got uh, the Japanese version of Unalive as well, along with the instrumental. So there's a lot of, obviously, it's the title track. It's, you know, she clearly worked a lot on this. I think I kind of enjoy the Japanese version of Unalive a bit more. I think just because it sounds a little bit like an anime opening, and to be honest, the Japanese version just kind of fits it a bit better. Um, but, you know, again, it's sort of, it, it might be a bit, a bit sort of musical Marmite. Some people might dislike it. I like it, but as I said, I'm not, you know, in love with it. Uh, then we've got Lose Lose Days. Uh, again, sort of a, more of a chill one, but something I quite enjoy. It's sort of... Uh, it's got some really nice lyrics to it, actually, Lose Lose Days. It's a, it reminds me a bit of um, Demon Days era gorillas, in a way. In, in a weird sort of way, not exactly. Uh, and the last track is definitely not a lo-fi one. Huge W, all in caps. This is a literal banger. Uh, this is sort of Moriato dubstep peak, basically. Uh, Huge W is just a massively fun track. Clearly she just wanted to like experiment with stuff. I think it really worked. I know it's been a bit polarizing. I've heard a few people say they like hate this track. I, I, I can sort of vaguely see why they'd say that, but honestly, Huge W is just a ton of fun, as is this album, to be fair. Right, I'm gonna go arrange everything as best I can, apart from the poster, because that's just gonna take up, you know, all of the space, and then I'll give you a final verdict, BRB. All right, I am back and I've assembled everything in a mildly pleasing manner. So before I do begin the wrap up, if you are curious, uh, altogether this package did cost me just over 18,000 yen. Um, now, to be fair, I, th I think I paid uh, just over a hundred and something pounds, including shipping. I mean, you know, seeing with everything that's in this package, well, it was a big old thing from Japan, so I can see why shipping was so expensive. 
but honestly I think it was fully worth it. Uh, all of these items have gone above what I expected so uh, the poster as I said is I'm definitely gonna get this framed. I was very impressed with how like glossy and high quality it was. Absolute kudos to that. It's a shame I can't unfurl it again but it's just gonna there's no room. Uh, I really love the little letter thing. I'm sad that I ruined the envelope, but I mean, that's that's life, I guess. The wine glass was incredible. As I said, I don't drink wine, but even with that, incredibly happy with the item. It's way higher quality than I was expecting, and I did not expect like a really cool box and everything as well. Uh, the jumper, I'm, I'm in love with. Uh, I am gonna genuinely be wearing this. I'm not gonna like, keep it as a collector's item or whatever. It's clothes at the end of the day. It's gonna wear eventually, I'm sure, but this is like perfect house wear kind of thing. I'm absolutely gonna wear this and flex on friends, some of whom won't know what a deadbeat is, but still, you know. And that vinyl is, ah, oh, it's perfect. Uh, I've got a few like collector's vinyls that happen to have come with things over the years. So I do have a small vinyl collection. I do need to get a record player, but that is really nice. I love the amount of folds as well. It's not just a regular kind of, um, you know, fold out book kind of version. It's, you know, there's a lot going on. Honestly, overall, incredibly happy with this. I love Mori Calliope. She's one of my favorite Hololive EN girls. Her music is fantastic, and I'm pretty sure in like two weeks time, Cinderella, her second album of 2022 is dropping. So uh, that will be interesting. I might look into getting like a physical version of that as well. I, I love her music. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you bought um, any of these items, if you got the whole package, or if you got one or two of these things. Uh, and. Stay tuned, because I may have also bought another Hololive English 2022 birthday package that may or may not have shipped very recently, according to an email I got. So give it like a month. I'll be doing another one of these videos for another member. Who will it be? Uh, you might have guessed. I don't know if I've uh, mentioned in the videos who my favourite is yet. I think I have. Um, anyway, I'll stop gushing now. I've, I'm incredibly happy. Uh, right. Well, until next time, uh, goodbye.